Hi children welcome you all to the session today's class we are going to continue exercise 2.5 you can take page number 47 in your ncert textbook you can refer the questions in the textbook okay children now we are going to continue exercise 2.5 okay what is this question we are going to continue now third problem in that first subdivision question okay what is the question express 5 cm in meter and kilometer we have dealt with this type of problems in uh, a refreshing class session i think so yes we are going to convert from one unit to another so here we are going to continue uh, by converting 5 cm to meter okay what is the relation between meter and a centimeter actually 1 meter is equal to 100 cm right 1 meter is equal to what 100 cm so actually 1 cm is equal to 1 by 100 meter 1 cm is because we are going to convert from centimeter to meter that's why 1 cm is equal to 1 by 100 meter ipo 5 cm means 5 by 100 meter how many digit zeros are there two zeros so how many digit you will shift two digits 1 2 so what is my answer 0.05 meter so what how uh, i have converted this 5 cm with using or uh, by in terms of meters i have converted in terms of meters two digit i am going to shift usually for 5 the decimal point will be 5.0 so 1 2 0.05 0.05 meter now 5 cm to what i have to convert kilometer right so now What is the diff? What is the relation between centimeter and kilometer? One kilometer is equal to. So one kilometer is equal to what? We are going to convert to centimeter, right? Well, one zero 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 centimeter. Abo one kilometer is equal to how much? One lakh centimeter. Abo one centimeter is equal to one divided by one lakh. Kilometer one kilometer is equal to one lakh centimeter. So one centimeter is equal to one divided by one lakh kilometer. So five centimeter is equal to five divided by one lakh kilometer. Okay, don't forget to put this unit, children. Okay, now how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So how we will write zero point zero 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 five kilometer. So how many digits? One, two, three, four, five. Totally five zeros. So five digits you should shift it. So what is the answer? Zero point zero 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 five kilometer. So this is how we are going to convert from one unit to the other. Understood? Next is your second subdivision. Here. Express thirty-five millimeter in centimeter, meter, and kilometer. So what now we have to convert to centimeter, meter, and kilometer. So what's the relation between millimeter and centimeter? One centimeter is equal to ten millimeter. Is it? One centimeter is equal to ten millimeter. Abo one millimeter is equal to one by ten centimeter. One millimeter is equal to one by ten centimeter. But thirty-five millimeter means thirty-five divided by ten centimeter. Is it? Yeah. Now, how many zeros? One zero. So one digit you will shift it. So answer is three point five centimeter. So what is the answer in centimeter? Three point five centimeter. Now we are going to convert millimeter to meter so what is the uh, relation between meter and a millimeter 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter okay for so 1 millimeter is equal to 1 divided by 1000 meter yes 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter children our 1 millimeter is equal to 1 divided by meter okay 1 divided by it will come now right now 
so 35 millimeter means 35 divided by 1000 meter how many zeros are there 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 so answer is 0 0.035 meter did you got the answer 0, 0 because here no number is there children 0 point that is why I am inserting one 0, 035 it's a meters unit is in what it is in meter next we are going to convert millimeter to kilometer right we are going to convert millimeter to kilometer so 1 kilometer is equal to actually 1 kilometer is equal to 1 lakh centimeter upper 10 lakh millimeter 10 lakh millimeter keep it in your mind 1 kilometer is equal to 10 lakh millimeter so 1 millimeter is equal to 1 divided by 10 lakh kilometer because it is a division 1 millimeter is equal to 10 lakh kilometer upper 35 millimeter means 35 divided by 10 lakh kilometer 10 lakh kilometer how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 Apa how many digits are there 0 point 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 3 5 kilometer keep it in your mind 0 point 0 0 0 0 3 5 kilometer so did you got the answers in both three units in centimeter meter and kilometer understood next is your fourth question what is the fourth question express in kilogram we are going to express the given values in kilogram what is the given value it is in grams so in which you should express it you should express it in kilogram so what is the relation between gram and the kilogram 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram 1 kilogram is equal to how much 1000 grams upper 1 gram equal to 1 divided by 1000 kilogram 1 gram equal to 1 divided by 1000 kilogram so how many gram it is given 200 gram it is given Apo 200 divided by 1000 kilogram 200 divided by 1000 kilogram okay now how many zeros are there 1 2 3 for 1 2 3 for what is the answer 0 0.200 0, 0 kilogram 0 0.200 0 kilogram listen children after this decimal point i told you right side of the decimal point if there is a zeros like uh, yesterday we have discussed about one problem no 0 0.88 and 0 0.8 we have compared both the values right so we how i have written 0 0.8 as 0 0.80 so i told you if zeros are inserted this side it has no meaning so it can be written as 0 0.2 kg so if the zeros are written here it has no meaning meaning so you can write it here as 0 0.2 kg now this is what your final answer okay next third question what is the question 4 kg 8 grams what is the question 4 kg 8 grams here 4 kg it is already in kilograms so no need to change it 8 grams we have to convert it to kilogram what is the relation between gram and a kilogram 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram okay 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram Apo 1 gram equal to 1 divided by 1000 kilogram okay now how much gram it is there 8 gram is there Apo 8 divided by 1000 kilogram how many zeros are there 1 2 3 1 2 3 but what is the answer 0 0.008 kilogram so actually 8 gram is equal to 0 0.008 kilogram so i have converted this 8 gram to kilogram now shall i con combine 4 kg and 8 grams our 4 kg and 8 gram how we will do add it 4 plus 0 0 0.008 
if there is the, if such cases is there 4 kg and 8 gram is there 4 plus 0 0.008 well, 4 plus 0 0.008 is 4.008 kilogram so i have expressed this answer in terms of kilograms understood how i have written it so this is very easy problem okay children your uh, second subdivision question is your homework okay children that is actually this type of problem you can do it very easily okay now we are going to start to do the expanded form what we are going to do we are going to do the expanded form for the decimal number usually you will be doing the expanded form in other numbers right the same way we are going to do here also so first before going to the expansion what you should write you should write the place values expansion means what we are going to enlarge that number that is actually the meaning is so the numbers which is written on your left side is greater right side is smaller that you know right now so left side how we will write the place values ones tens but right side how we will write the place value tenth hundredth right did you understand ones tens this side tenth hundredth okay there are two possible ways to write the uh, uh, expansion form i'll write in one way okay and uh, the whether you can able to understand it or not you can see okay now usually how we will write 20 plus 0 right 20 plus 0 plus 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100 listen 2 into 10 20 plus 0 into 1 0 plus 0 into 1 by 10 0 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 100 3 by 100 like this also you can write 2 into 10 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 100 like this also you can write because this is a 1's place, this is 10's place, this is 10th place, this is 100th place. Like this also you can write. Listen children. 2 into 10 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 10th. 1 by 10 na, plus 3 into 100th. 1 by 100. This, there are two possible ways to write the place values. Understood children? Next is your second problem second problem before going to write this number problem in expansion form you should write the place values right the number which is on the left side is ones right side is tenth hundredth okay ones tenth hundredths now shall i write it in two ways also i'm going to write children two plus 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100 because 2 ones da so 2 into 1 2 plus 0 by 10 because 10th plus 3 by 100 or you can write like this 2 into 1 plus because 2 into 1's plus 0 into 1 by 10 because it is 0 into 10th place plus 3 into 1 by 100 plus 3 into 1 by 100 so these are the two possible ways to write the number is the expansion form now third question so shall i write now right left side and all how you write ones tens hundreds ones tens hundreds here tenth hundredth tenth hundredth now shall i write start writing yes 200 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100 because 200 sub 200 zero zero plus 0 tenth 0 0 ones plus 0 tenth 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100. Shall I write this again in different thing? 2 into 100 plus 0 into 10 plus 2 into 100 plus 0 into 10 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 by 10 plus 
3 into 1 by 100. 3, 0 into 1 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 100. This is also a possible way for uh, expansion. Your fourth question is your homework children. Okay. Fourth question it is very easy. Okay. You can, you can write by yourself. Okay children. Today's class we have continued exercise 2.5. From third problem till the third problem, fourth problem and fifth problem we have discussed in our class. I have given few problem as homework. I hope you all understood children. Thank you.